speech is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock around. That's right on time. And <laughs> Thank you. Am I good to go? Thank you. Give it up for the comedians you've seen tonight, right? Also, give it up for this audio system, which has been spectacular, truly. I mean, really, I just sound so crisp and clear. I feel like the only chance I'm going to get a fucking reaction from you guys is if I do Michael Winslow from Police Academy doing Jimi Hendrix. Again. I could go on. <laughs> oh, I gave myself a headache. All right. Hey guys, is everybody happy? COVID's over. Four and a half hours. Four and a half, like fucking four now. And it's over. Nuclear war, still on the menu, but COVID, it's fucking done. Uh, I just wanna call out the real heroes of COVID. The people whose calm and rational actions have really just carried us through. Give it up for the government, everybody. Give it up, yeah. Every level, top to bottom, am I right? Federal, provincial, municipal. I felt so much safer knowing that they were at the helm. Oh, I don't know. I'm so fucking sick of it. I just hate the fighting. I don't, I don't give a shit anymore. It's like, you need to be vaccinated. Oh, I don't want to be vaccinated. You need to be vaccinated for my safety. Would the vaccine's any good, you should be fucking sick. Like, shut up. I just don't care. Do whatever you want to do. Just live your fucking life. But I can't help but think, oh, fuck off. I can't help but think, we probably wouldn't be fucking angry at each other to the point we are now if COVID was like more dangerous for children. You ever think like this? You know what I mean? Could you imagine like all the anti-mask, anti-vax Karens if like little Tucker was in danger? Little Jackson? Yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's, it's kind of too bad COVID didn't kill more kids. You know what I mean? <laughs> Might have brought us together as a society. Nah, I'm a good guy though. I am a good guy. Um, I'm, a good, I'm a good guy, but I'm a shitty person. Like, do you understand what that means? Because being a good guy is easy. It really is. Good guy, surface level shit. Empty gestures, right? I'll give you an example. But being a, a good person, it's exhausting. Like deep down, when it really counts, it's pretty tough not to be a piece of shit. Let's be honest, right? Like, I'll give you an example. Dating me, super good guy. I'm a gentleman. I pull the chair out for you. Yeah? I'll pay for everything. I pay for absolutely everything in the relationship. But one of those things I'm going to pay for is inevitably going to the abortion the, uh, I talk you into getting. It's just, I'll pay for dinner. I'll pay for dinner. But 18 years of alimony, go fuck yourself. I'm sorry. Another good example. Driving, driving, I'm very courteous. Courteous. I see you signaling, I back back right off, wave you in. Two at a time even. Yeah, go ahead. We're all gonna get where we're going. But if it's late at night, I'm driving alone, dark country road, you happen to wander out in front of me and I plow into you, I am for sure just gonna drive away. Like <laughs> Yeah, like straight to a twenty four hour car wash never to speak of it to another living human. To my grave, I will take that. For real. Uh, I'm married. Settle down. Um, I am married. I know it's somewhat shocking. I'm married. I've been married uh, almost four years now. And it's shocking when you get married as a guy, because when you're a, a woman, everybody's happy for you. Everybody's like, oh my God, that's so exciting. When you're a guy, everybody's just like, really? Like nowadays, the easier ways to lose half your shit. It's like, all right, I've heard that one. And then the other thing every guy says, you know, the sex goes right downhill, right? Yeah. It falls off a cliff. And you can say goodbye to blowjobs. 
It's like, really? I can tell you right now, four years into my marriage, I'm still getting blowjobs on the regular. Thank you. Thank you. That's a fucking goddamn right. And I'll tell you guys the secret right now. All right? The secret is you just can't let your wife find out. <laughs> hey, all right, all right. That's fine. Bing Fuck bong. It. Give it up for Cam, everybody. Give it up for Cam. Cam Prez. Uh, thank you for coming back from Ottawa to be here. Uh, I really appreciate it, man. <laughs> Yeah, so you get, your wife is a very uh, lucky, uh, lucky lady, it seems like. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> so, you know, um, what do you do for a living, Cam? I work in trucking. You work in trucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, still have my bank account. We're good. It's fine. Yeah, so you've been, feel, have you been feeling the effects of, uh, of Trudeau? Did you feel it? Were you down there? I've had to fire six dudes <laughs> because of uh, our incredibly safe and effective mandates. It was very nice telling men that they're no longer going to earn money. I feel like you're being sarcastic. I feel like, you know... Uh... No, I hate everyone. I wish the fucking nukes would drop, honestly. <laughs> All right, well, on that uh, happy note, uh, you guys got anything to say? <laughs> oh, man, Cam. The fuck did I just listen to? You are an angry person. You look like a lumberjack that would like fuck up society, which is weird. Uh, I've never heard someone make a compelling case about how COVID should be more deadly to children. <laughs> you sold me on it for a little bit there, and then I realized I'm human. I work in logistics, okay? That's it's why. logical. That's why. Um, your logical. blowjob joke was hilarious. Uh, I'm not married. Are you married? Mirage, are you married? Yeah. Did you laugh the hardest at that? <laughs> Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. That was a good set, man. That was a great set. That's all I have to add. And I was just going to say, mate, uh, you said that you paid for everything. You lost me at that. I'm Indian. I don't pay for fuck all. So well done. <laughs> well done, though, mate. Thank fuck Even you. the abortion? <laughs> I'm married. I don't have sex. It's fine. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Now say it with me, kids. Sativa in the streets. Indica in the sheets. Yes, very good. Give it a stick and we'll be picking.